Denise. My name is Aaron. My name is Patricia. And so, so for the next uh, you know couple of episodes, or mini episodes, I guess you could say, that's uh, we are going to finally talk about all the Christmas specials brought to you by DreamWorks. Yeah, so this is something that we've been wanting to do for quite a while now, but we just never actually had the chance to sit down and actually watch any of these Christmas specials. So I've never seen any of these specials before going into this, so I'm going in 100% blindly. I've, like, come across clips of them. Like, you know when they say, oh, hey, there's a Christmas special coming out, and they'll put out a clip. Like, you know, I've seen a couple of things, but I've never, like, watched, like, an entire DreamWorks Christmas special in its entirety. Fair enough. And to be fair, we have actually covered the announcement of one or two of the Christmas specials during Aaron and Patricia, and that was the How to Train Your Dragon Christmas specials and the Bad Guys Christmas special. So we do know that these specials exist, but we never actually sat down and watched them for our own enjoyment. So, yeah, very similar to Pix Minis, in which we would talk about a Pixar short every single day and give you our thoughts on it. For the next few days, we're going to be talking about every single DreamWorks Christmas special and give you our thoughts on it. Okay. So, uh, we begin with our first uh, uh, Christmas special. Yeah, before we do that... So before we talk about these Christmas specials, we got some ground rules. Number one, no Christmas specials from any of the DreamWorks animated series. So when we are talking about the Christmas specials based off of the DreamWorks films, we're not referring to any of the animated series like the Trolls animated series or Boss Baby animated series or any of the stuff. That's its own separate thing. So we'll probably get to that sometime in the future. I guess the example, I guess you could say, is like, you know, because Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie is obviously a movie, and then you've got Hey Arnold, the Christmas special, but the Christmas special specials more like you know were to the tv series not to like the movie exactly so like uh, that's kind of the rule that we're setting ourselves yeah and also no christmas specials coming in from any of the other dreamworks series like spin city or anything like that so yeah none of that it has to be based on the movie character yeah and finally number three no shorts that are like a few minutes long and they only just have like mostly music in them like donkey's christmas shrektacular is not going to be covered here in our discussion because one it's only five minutes long and two it's just the characters singing christmas songs yeah it's kind of like you know talking about like you know the shrek dance party basically the end of the shrek movie like you know it's nothing like that you know we it literally has to be a christmas special something has to happen christmasy within it and it basically has to relate to a story yeah but don't worry we will be talking about a shrek christmas special down to the line but that's not what we're covering today we are doing the very first official dreamworks christmas special which came out in 2005 alongside with the airing of Wallace and Gromit the Curse of the Were-Rabbit and that is the Madagascar Penguins in a Christmas caper based off of the Madagascar films. Yeah so they were this was when they were just just referred to as the Madagascar Penguins not the Penguins of Madagascar that they were to be referred to either in the movie or like the TV series. Yeah so you have to remember that this is 2005 the first Madagascar movie came out so they were just established so none of the other sequels nor the Nickelodeon animated series, nor the movie of the Penguins had had um, had premiered at this point in time. So we're literally starting off fresh from the first Madagascar movie. Yeah. So basically, what it is is that the plot uh, entails a skipper who basically is trying to organize Christmas, basically for the uh, all the rest of the penguins, and everybody else in private uh, realizes that uh, one of the um, you know other animals you know, is feeling very lonely and doesn't have anything you know going for him this Christmas. So uh, while you know skipper you know somewhat kind of dismisses him, I guess you could say, to saying like, look, you know we're going to focus on our own Christmas, and I'm sure you know everyone else will be fine. You know, uh, private isn't so sure, so he sneaks out of the hideout to uh, go actually go. Find a Christmas gift, but unfortunately he gets captured by a very eccentric lady. And, yeah, uh, and, and if you're wondering, this is the same eccentric lady that we saw in the first and second Madagascar movie, in which she was beating up Alex to pieces. Who else would it be? Yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, basically, Private ends up in the uh, um, the, the apartment building of uh, the, you know, the this this lady, and uh, is basically going to end up being a chew toy, being fed to her like a very you know, uh, uh, aggressive pet. Mm-hmm. So, it's up for the pedigree of Madagascar to save him, and uh, then, you know, obviously hijinks and so. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so this is essentially what we would see in pretty much anything involving with the penguins. They go through a lot of wacky hijinks and mischievous mayhem. And yeah, I mean, it does feel really in line with the characters of the penguins, where we have Skipper as the leader, we have Kowalski, we have the private, and we have Rico. Basically, if you've seen a Pen- Penguins of Madagascar episode or seen like in them, seen like any of the movies, effectively you get what you what you see. Yeah, so. pretty much. 
much. Yeah, so how would we see this as a starting point for DreamWorks' first Christmas special? Um, I mean, like, uh, it's not a bad Christmas special. I mean, like, uh, there's nothing, like, oh, remotely terrible with it. Like, uh, but, uh, I mean, I would say that is, you know, it does follow the Madagascar formula basically to a T. So, yeah. I mean, like, uh, if you're expecting something to, like, oh, hey, you wouldn't expect that before. Like, uh, you know, you're not really going to find too much in there. I mean, like, I guess the hilarious thing is Kowalski being used as a machine gun, I think, is probably, like, uh, but mind you, we've come to expect this from this character at this point in the amount of time. So, I mean, like, and also, there's not really much evolution. I mean, we know... No, uh, Skipper is like, you know, do everything to the T and like follow the stick to the plan and everything like that and nothing hopefully will go wrong but obviously things do go wrong you know, in their adventures so, I mean, there's that. And uh, but, I mean, I guess Private's kind-heartedness, I guess towards the other people, I guess, is probably you know, some character evolution for Private, I guess. Yeah, so, especially yeah. since he's always seen as like the the fifth wheel amongst the other penguins where we have Skipper's the leader, Kowalski's like his main man and then Rico's basically like the one who just wants explosions and is kind of a little bit dumb. It's Private who's kind of like the inexperienced one who's just really kind-hearted. So, yeah, I mean, we kind of saw that with the other installments of the Penguins characters. I mean, he's kind of like Gus from Recess in a way. I yeah, mean, I guess like, you could say yeah. that. So. Yeah, so, yeah, not really much to say about it. I mean, the hijinks with the, the old lady and the dog are pretty funny, especially with um, Private is trying to basically, you know, get away from the house, and then Skipper and the rest of the penguins are trying to free him, and then everything just goes awry in a complete mess. It's amazing, like, you know, he completely, they all just completely destroy Christmas for this <laughs> this old lady. Like, yes. you don't feel bad for her in a way. Like, uh, but so then she ends up kind of blaming a dog anyway, so, like, uh, I guess, you know, um, I mean, I don't know, like, like, you know, can you really blame the dog for, like, you know, for the situation that he found himself in? I mean, the I dog know. is just as violent as the old lady. I mean, there's even a little um, Easter egg if you see that one of the Chew toys that Mr. Chew, the dog, has is a stuffed figure of Alex, which is really clever because the stuffed figure would have been from the zoo where Alex is from, and Alex is beaten, beaten by the old lady from the first and second, you know, Madagascar movie. So, again, great Easter egg. But yeah, I, I just think that, uh, so, I mean, obviously there's, it does, it's, you know, plain and simple. This, you know, as regards to a Christmas special, I think, you know, uh, they don't really take any risks with the, with the, and also they have like, you know, the, uh, you know, the mandatory sing along with like all the characters at the very end of the, of the special sure. as well. So, I mean, like, uh, I mean, nothing too offensive about, it, nothing too terrible about it, but uh, I mean, if you're expecting like any like massive surprises, I guess the only thing you can really say is the private character evolution out of this. Nothing much else to kind of write home about, really. Yeah, it's the shortest sh um, Christmas special that we've seen in this lot. It's only 12 minutes long while the other ones were at least maybe 30 to 45 minutes. So yeah, you're not really getting a lot into this, but to be fair, this was shown alongside with Wallace and Gromit, the Curse of the Were-Rabbit. So it was essentially just alongside with a much larger scale movie. So yeah, I wouldn't say that it's like a great Christmas special. I mean, I, I understand it's the first one that's ever been made, but you know, I would just say it's pretty solid. I mean, it's not and nothing to write to home. It's it's nothing to write home about. But I would say that if you do love the penguins and if you do like the craziness that they are able to get involved in, then this is a decent one to check out. But yeah, if I were to say, hey, this is like the best amongst the DreamWorks Christmas specials, I would just say maybe leave it for another time. <laughs> 